In this lesson, we're going to explore the characteristics of robot. In the exam, you need to describe the different types of characteristics. So you need to understand what the term characteristic actually means. Characteristic simply refers to a feature of something. So in this case, a robot can be identified by these main features. Now, feature could be anything. It could be of having hands, having a face, having ears and nose for human beings. But what about robots? Robots, in particular physical robots, these are robots you can actually touch, have three main features or three main characteristics. They can sense their surroundings, they can move, and they are programmable. We're going to be looking at all of these features individually. So let's start by looking at the first characteristic, an ability to sense their surroundings. Now, robots use sensors and cameras as input. These sensors recognize the immediate environment and they build up a three-dimensional picture to determine the size, shape, and weight of perhaps an object. The robot can then interact with that particular object. All sensor data is sent to the microprocessor or computer just like an automated system. So sensors will continuously scan the environment and then keep sending this data to the microprocessor that then can work out how far an object is, how much force is required to lift it, things like that. The second characteristic of physical robots is an ability to move. They should have a degree of movement. And we can do this through the use of wheels, cogs, pistons, gears, and so on. These allow the robot to carry out functions such as turning, twisting, moving backwards and forwards, and gripping or lifting. Mechanical structures made up of motors, hydraulic pipes, actuators, and circuit boards are all combined to allow a robot to do this. They also contain many electrical components as well. Robots also need to be able to use end effectors. These are different attachments that you can attach to a robot arm, perhaps, which allow it to carry out a number of different tasks. For example, you might have a crane type attachment or effector, or you might have a drill type attachment, which allows the robots to do different tasks, either lift something or drill through a wall. Make sure you jot down the term end effector because that could be used in an exam question and you should know what it means. It's basically an accessory that's attached to a robot to allow it to do a different task. The final characteristic of a physical robot is that it must be programmable. To do that, it should have a controller that determines the actions that need to be taken to carry out a task automatically. These controllers or microprocessors are programmable so the robot can be trained to do various tasks. Many robots don't possess artificial intelligence because they often do repetitive tasks. So we don't really need the robot to use artificial intelligence. If you're all you're doing is lifting and placing something in a van, then we don't need AI to do that. Of course, there are robots which are also using artificial intelligence and they're becoming more and more common, but the majority of robots in use these days are not artificially intelligent. They're repetitive, task-driven robots. Of course, if they're physical robots, there can also be soft bots or software robots. Now, these are programs like search engine bots or web crawlers and chat bots, and these operate through code. Web crawlers can roam the internet, scanning websites and categorizing them so that they can be recognized by a search engine. Chatbots are programs that pop up on websites and seem to have a conversation with the web user. But neither web crawlers nor chatbots are true robots since they don't meet all the three characteristics necessary to be defined as a robot. They need to be able to sense their surroundings, they need to be able to move, and they need to be able to be programmable. Software robots can only be programmable. They might be able to use sensor data, but they can't move hence they are not true robots hopefully now you can answer the following questions how can a robot sense its surroundings describe how a robot moves what is meant by a robot is programmable and you should also be able to identify three characteristics of robots especially physical robots that's all for now if you do have any questions, do let me know in the comments. Otherwise, I will see you in the next one.